Come to announce the best corporate report awards 2010. Contrary to our practice, this year we will announce the top of the top position award first. As we wish to ease out the anxiety of our professional accountants who remain under pressure throughout the year. To present the trophy to the winning company, I would like to call upon our chief guest of the ceremony, Mr. A. N. Raman, the president of SAFA. It is a privilege to have him with us today. Mr. Raman is a member of the Institute of Chart Accountants of India and a member of the Institute of Certified Management Accountants of Sri Lanka. He is also a member of PAIB committee of the IFAC. Mr. Raman is a Central Council member of the Institute of Cost and Works Accountants of India. He is also a founding member of the Total Cost Management Division of the Confederation of the Indian Industry. Furthermore, Mr. Raman is the current chair of the Professional Accountants and Business Committee at the SAFA, where he plays a pivotal role in promoting the work of the IFAC, PIB Committee in the Asian region. Let me share with you that Mr. Raman is a great friend of Pakistan. He, his frequent visits to Pakistan prove his love and affection for the country. A big round of applause for Mr. Raman. The company which the company which secured the overall top position in all sectors for preparing the best corporate report for the year 2010 is Foggy Fertilizer Company Limited. I will request Mr. Mohammad Shoaib, CFO for G Fertilizer, to come on stage and receive the trophy. I will request Mr. Shweb to say a few words here, please. Thank you very much, everybody. First of all, I would like to thank ICAP and ICMAP for arranging this fabulous ceremony and providing a competitive environment for organizations, enabling them to strive for transparency in their corporate reports. At FFC, we, uh, our strategy is not only to ensure transparency in our annual reports, but to maximize transparency around the flow of information. On a day-to-day basis, we do so by introducing the culture of honesty, responsibility, openness, and trust. Public reporting is a big responsibility which builds the foundation of a trust relationship between the company and its stakeholders, and we do so. Uh, since inception, these uh, prestigious award, FFC has been as a regular nominate, nominee, winning it seven consecutive times from 2002 to 2008. And now, with the breakup one year again in 2010, this fact alone is a reflection of the efforts we put in to ensure accuracy and reliability. Taking our reporting structure to the next best level that we are going to introduce ERP system under the current management of the company. And we have a very good, talented PhD doctor in the computing side. And we are going to SAP ERP system, inshallah. At the end, I would uh, also uh, acknowledge the efforts of the committee and particularly the Surya Saab, it's very difficult to get something out of Surya Saab. <laughs> and it's a big honor to get something at this point of time from Surya Saab. Thank you everybody for your precious time in this connection.
Thank you, Shreya Sahib. It would be an honor to listen to uh, the feelings of our chief guest, Mr. Ain Raman, President Safa. Please come. Presentation. I need the laptop here. The challenge for my eyesight. No problem, we'll rise to the occasion. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Let me start the way all of you pray and I join the prayer. I invoke His grace for a beautiful progress, peace and prosperity of the Ahmadmi of both nations. Before I proceed with the, the technical part of my presentation, I just wanted to share some of the nice feelings and um, very interesting statistics because there were some quotes relating to data from Bilgrami Saab and uh, Rashid Saab. In fact, both are correct. But only thing is you remove the span of looking at it as a one-year visit. I have been uh, associated with uh, Safa for the last two years as Vice President and uh, President. During this period of office bearership, this is perhaps my, my the fifth visit to Pakistan with a promise that there will be one more visit in the month of uh, December to Islamabad, to this great country, which is giving me all the love and affection as if they are, the, they are my brothers. Thanks to the great country country of Pakistan. The presidents of the two institutes, Vice President uh, Rafi Saab, my beloved friend Rahim Suryaji, and my esteemed colleague in uh, the Professional Accountants and Business Committee, Yaqub Saab and uh, Khalid Bai. It's really a great pleasure for me to come back to see all of you and my good friends again and again. Thanks to the wonderful SARC sticker. You can come into Pakistan at a 24 hours notice. Only thing, the flight should be there from the Pakistan International Airlines. Unfortunately, the Indian aircraft, they are not still flying. But till February 2nd, as many times you are going to invite me, I promise to come and honor your request. Absolutely no problem, as the SARC sticker is valid till that time. And uh, certain interesting statistics I promised you, which uh, explain some sort of uh, uh, divine proximity as far as I am concerned with uh, this great nation. This last two years, the every president of SAFA aspires to visit and uh, interact with the member bodies of uh, all the countries. There are eight SARC nations. Of course, three nations are not inside with member bodies, Afghanistan, Bhutan and Maldives. We don't have members in SAFA. We are now trying to cultivate uh, the membership from Maldives, but it will take some more time. Of the remaining uh, member bodies outside India, the maximum visits I have made is only to Pakistan. This is a very interesting uh, piece of uh, information. The rest are all only following that. This is one interesting information. Second interesting information, there seems to be a very warm and a very, I, I, I should not call it as a strange, a very positive relationship between the ICWA's nominee occupying the SAFA presidentship and the happenings between these two countries. It's very strange coincidence. I just want to tell you that. Some of you might not have noticed it. My predecessor from the institute who was the president of SAFA 15 years back or 14 years back is one gentleman called K.R.S. Sastri. After that, almost after 14 or 15 years, ICWA has got a chance to lead the uh, body as a president. When Mr. Sastri was the president of SAFA, uh, 